It's roast battle time! Yeah. Yeah. We have, uh, as you know, as mentioned at the top of the show, we have two fabulous roast battles. We are starting with our featherweight division. It is in no reference to their comedy stylings. They are just thin. <laughs> Still wearing his fat clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot looks like a scientific experiment to see if they could make pity sex a person. <laughs> Answer is yes. Uh, Max has a lisp. But you wouldn't notice it unless he pointed it out. Just like all of his punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot looks like uh, Vladimir Putin, but without all the sex appeal, but the same ability to tell jokes. The only difference is that if Putin says he killed it, we actually believe him. <laughs> Max thinks his lips, lisp makes him sound stupid. I disagree. I think it's every one of his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's comedy reminds me of an amateur stripper. Even if it goes well, I can't help but wonder what his uncle did to him. <laughs> Max? would never roofie a girl, but only because he's too weak to drag her back to his lair. <laughs> it's true, have these little arms. <laughs> Elliot's name is Elliot, the kid from E.T. That means your parents' greatest goal for you is for you to be around an, an illegal alien getting chased by the government for using his magic fingers on a child. I know. <laughs> Max is so Jewish that, that he has the word bank in his name. The only way his name could be more Jewish is if it was Max Controls All Media Jaffe. <laughs> Two days ago, Elliot posted a picture of himself photoshopped as that half-deer guy from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. What the fuck were you thinking? You just trying to prove to everyone that you're weird, horny, and spending your whole life living in a closet? <laughs> Max is so skinny, it looks like he's an Auschwitz. <laughs> Maybe you should concentrate on eating some protein. <laughs> Elliot's engaged. And he met his fiance where he meets all his women, elementary school. I'm just kidding. He's never met another woman. Uh, little known fact, Max was actually the, the lead voice actor of a hit animation. 
It was called Raga Jui. <laughs> uh, Elliot and his fiance are expecting a child, and they've been together for over 10 years. And in all that time, they never cheated on each other until she got pregnant, and now her and the baby are fucking him out of his dreams. <laughs> Max looks like Waluigi with Asperger's. <laughs> it's a me. Two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm making fun of Elliot and his fiance and stuff like that, but I really shouldn't. Elliot's a really great partner. He tries really hard to get involved in her favorite activities. The problem is her favorite activities are teaching children and thinking about me when she masturbates. Uh, Max, uh, Max looks like if, if there was like one white Somali pirate, but like he did all the taxes for all the other pirates. <laughs> So Elliot's getting married. Yeah, this whole thing about his family. Uh, <laughs> Elliot's getting married, and Elliot, if I can give you one piece of marriage advice, I'm going to tell you that marriage is like a bus ride. You never know how long it's going to last, but one thing for sure is that groups of elderly Asian men are going to join in and get off on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, last shots, last shots. All right. Uh, Max is really into rap. Uh, growing up. Max's favorite rapper was Biggie Smalls because he reminded him a lot of his dad. They are both dead. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know me, he is. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, your kid is gonna grow up to be a fucking train wreck. But only because you crash and burn on stage so much, it's part of his DNA. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're gonna go. It's audience voting. Is that right? Right? Audience voting. By applause. By applause. Okay. Before we vote, you should consider that this gentleman does only have two months to live. <laughs>